Hey YouTube, welcome to Invisalign Diary number 25. I am almost at the end of my refinement trays, so if you're just watching for the first time, I had the entire Invisalign process to correct some quite severe overcrowding. I had two teeth sticking out at the front, which were, uh, one was overlapping the two behind. It was starting to close up behind it, pushing it out. It was awful. So I had all that straightened over a year ago. And then after that, I was experiencing some gum recession. So primarily above this canine tooth, just there, you see uh, the gum is meant to come to here, but it's got a couple of millimeters where it's gone up high and above that one as well. But the thing is, we've been trying to stop it by having more Invisalign to move my two canine teeth and point them out very slightly at the front, the canine tooth here, uh, so that the roots will go further back into my mouth, into my gum. And that will relieve the pressure across here because you can't really see the root of the gum there too badly. It's just there. So I think it's worked because you could see the root before. So that's fantastic. We're 14 trays into, well, it's the 16, I'm meant to get to the 16th tray when I have my attachments taken off and then we're going to have nighttime retention. So I've actually been given something like 19 trays, but we're not going to use them. So uh, yeah, after 16 trays, I'll go back. I'll have the attachments taken off. That's here, you see it, a little nub, and here as well. That's the two teeth that are being moved, so they've got attachments on. So I'm having the attachments taken off at the end of January, which means I'm basically done with Invisalign. Then I will have nighttime retainers, so nighttime retention, but it's going to be active retention, which means I'll have a different set of retainers each month. So at night time, I'll put in a retainer, it will move my teeth just a tiny, tiny amount just over the forthcoming year. So come the end of the year, it will be completely finished. That is the idea. Well, I mean, when I look at my mouth, I cannot see any difference. Considering I've had uh, 14 trays, this is the 14th tray of this treatment, I can't see any difference. I mean, maybe if I looked back at what I looked like before, maybe I would. But considering that these teeth are supposed to be sticking out more at the bottom, I can't see it. And I'm going to take off my trays to show you. Look, there, this, this tooth, you can see the attachment on it, so that will be taken off, that little nub. Uh, but it's meant to be sticking out more than it was at the bottom. I can't see it. And the same with this one. The arc of my teeth is pretty perfect. So I can't see a difference, which means whatever has happened has happened to the gum rather than the teeth, and that's exactly what we wanted. I'll put this back in. I mean, at this stage, these things come out so easily. Um, <laughs> thinking back to how it was with the first tray, I can't even remember. Um, which is, I'm glad that I made the diary because it does remind me what it was like. Because if someone were to say to me now, what's Invisalign like? I'd just say, oh, it's a bit annoying, you know, having to take it out for, to eat foods and everything. Because so many times over Christmas, someone said, just in, have a Lebkuchen. And I'd be like, I can't. <laughs> Hang on, take it all out, have a Lebkuchen. Because um, Lebkuchen are oh, great. So things like that, which meant that I didn't eat as much over Christmas, so I've not put on loads of Christmas fat, which is great. So I, I'm starting the new year relatively trim, which is good. Uh, so it's gone well. It's been nice actually to have Invisalign over the, because you're meant to put on weight faster in the autumn. So it's been good to have Invisalign through that period because I'll be set up now for the new year. So that's cool. Um, so, you know, I've not really noticed much difference in my teeth, you know, looking at them, but I've also not really been thinking about having Invisalign in my mouth too much. Uh, it's now become so normal that it's strange when they're not in. And I remember I got to that stage last time and it did start to get a little tiresome at this stage last time. And yeah, I've probably had enough of having Invisalign in my mouth during the day, but I'm talking to you now and I doubt you can see that I'm wearing it. Even with these two attachments, you'd really have to be looking to see that they're there. Yeah, you can see them now you're looking. But if I'm just talking to you normally, nobody's going to see that. So Invisalign really is invisible um, unless you know it's there. And even then it's difficult to see. So, uh, oh yeah, in terms of the retainer at the bottom, because I'd been away from my home for a week or so, uh, I didn't have it with me, uh, which obviously is a bit worrying. But I put it in last night and it didn't hurt at all. And today they're not sore at all. So I think... Uh, due to the bar, I've got a bar, mm, can't really see it, I've got a bar on my bottom teeth. Um, I think due to the bar, my bottom teeth have set. That's great. So I wish I could do that with the top ones, but it does need nighttime retention. 
So I think that's it for now. Uh, what's going to happen next? Usually when I go back to orthodontist, um, he goes with the uh, interproximal reduction file uh, just to make some space between my teeth. So I expect he'll do that again. Uh, he does say that the bottom ones had closed up, so uh, even though I don't think they're moving, they are moving. <clears throat> so I do have to be careful with that. Um, but that's it. That's it. It's going to be all done at the end of January. I'll make another video, and then of course I'll let you know how the active retention goes during night time. But we're about there. It's been good. I mean, I've definitely got my money's worth. Two lots. I've had Invisalign in my mouth for a good... 19 months or something around there in total over the last couple of years uh, but the results are spectacular and so I'm really really pleased with it and I'm really happy to answer your questions so if you do have any questions let me know uh, otherwise I'll see you in a couple of weeks when uh, I have the attachments off and then I'll have my normal teeth back and I'll be very excited oh one last thing I do think that uh, these teeth have discolored slightly you can just see it look that tooth is not as white as that tooth, and it's not just because of the attachment. So I might ask him about that. Uh, I've never had any whitening done to my teeth, but maybe I will. Although it's, maybe it's wrong to have completely perfect teeth because it would look false. I've had some people in the comments say it's veneers. They're absolutely certain that I've got veneers done, which is ludicrous to me because I've got, well, this is the 25th video, you know, plus the review where you can see the entire process of my teeth being as they were, being filed down and then put into place. You, you can't fake that. It's not veneers. These are my teeth. These are the same teeth. I didn't have any taken out at all. Look. See? i still got fillings in the bottom ones. There. And there. It's not a nice filling, that one. But it had to be done. Uh, and you can see the Invisalign trays there. Because they've got uh, stuff written on them. But no, they are my teeth, and uh, they stick out a lot more than they used to because I do have a crowded mouth. And so there is that slight overbite when I put my teeth together at the back. But I was told that was how it's going to be, so I'm happy with that. But no, they are my actual teeth. Uh, they just look so much better. So, yeah, I'm still recommending it wholeheartedly. If you want to go for Invisalign, then do. If you've still got loads of questions about Invisalign, if this is your first Invisalign video you're seeing from me, uh, I do have my... Invisalign review up here, which tells you everything you need to know. Uh, and there's also a playlist here as well of all the other videos. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Till then, take care. Oh, and Happy New Year.